I think outrage about Diablo Immortal is absolutely fine, honestly. I feel like it's correct to say that no one is really surprised by how outrageous the fucking monetization in, uh, in Immortal is. Like, no one's surprised by it. But that's no defense of it. That doesn't mean it's less shit just because no one's surprised by it. In many ways, that just makes it sadder. Basically, the only way Blizz could have surprised us with Diablo Immortal monetization was to make it not as shit as we were, as it possibly could be. But it, it kind of is as shit as it possibly could be, which is a shame because it's a really good game. I really do have like a moral objection to those kind of monetization techniques. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to sit around criticizing people who play it and spend money on it everyone is is entitled to do what they want everyone's an individual but for me it's not okay and it i i couldn't play a game that i know is out to fucking rinse me so hard it's like if i was to date someone who was clearly only after my money if they were really hot i could find some enjoyment in that relationship for a while but at some point i have to accept that they're only after my money and it's not a very healthy relationship right and that's exactly how i feel with diablo immortal right it's like it's a hot girlfriend who is only after my money so i can get some enjoyment from that in the short term maybe but in the long run probably probably best to stay away from it and, and find a, a healthier healthier relationship i what i don't think is helpful honestly and i'm, I'm not criticizing any individual streamer or content creator for this uh but i, I mean like because it wouldn't matter on an individual basis but as a whole i feel like streamers dropping tons of money on the game to show people how bad it is for content probably isn't healthy because I think that most people they just need to be told it's really fucking bad and that's enough for them and the people that don't want to play a game that's really bad like they've learned that they know okay and I think that streaming it and streaming yourself putting loads of money into it you know for science or whatever honestly all that's going to do apart from make you money from content all that's really going to do is real people who might be at risk from it in. Like, yeah, just say, it's going to cost you £11,000 like, to play this game. Don't do it. And that's all people need to know. They're going to go, oh, shit, okay, yeah, that sounds, that sounds shit. But then streaming it and showing all the bells and whistles and the big bangs and the lights and the flashy cool shit and having a good time with your chat um, and, and dropping a load of money in it and, and getting that kind of secondhand dopamine rush from it, I think all that is possibly going to do is put members of your audience who are at risk of being reeled in by that kind of thing who might not have been otherwise at risk does that make sense and i don't think it's like the fault of any one streamer or anything like that but i feel like a lot of streamers are getting content from the game at the moment on the back of oh let's put in loads of money just to see how bad it is and i think that's really cheap content and i think it's essentially just p putting people at, at risk right I, I don't think it's i don't think it's keeping anyone away from the game i think all it does is get people into the game you know it's kind of like monetization porn in a way um it's literally expensive content no it's not it's not because they make a big deal of it and it's a thing right so you're getting all of like the the upside of playing a fun game on stream but also you're like a fucking consumer warrior right because you're spending your own money which don't forget is is your streams money you're taking the hit so other people don't have to but you're letting them live it third hand and it's only it's you're only making it more likely that people are going to pick it up for themselves so you think it's kind of normalizing it in a way yeah i think it's exposing people like okay so if you want to warn people about it you just tell them about it and you warn them about it you don't show them the addictive parts of it as well in the same way that it like so it's like if i come up to you and i say you know heroin it's really fucking addictive don't take heroin okay that's much better than going heroin's really addictive and we're going to take some heroin together don't worry i've paid for it i've paid for it but we're going to take some heroin together to find out just how addictive it is for science i feel like you're you're directly exposing people to the bits of the game that are capable of addicting 
people, which is the shininess and the animations and the lights and the dopamine. People are getting the dopamine secondhand, right? And I feel like a lot of people are just using it as an excuse to just play Diablo Immortal, right? They know they can't get away with just playing Diablo Immortal. So they make it this, oh, we're finding out just how bad it is. And everyone's like ironically watching it, but it's quite a good game. So they're actually quite enjoying it as well. And all that time they're getting reeled in, right? That's how I feel personally. I, I feel like it's, a, and I, I think it. there's nothing wrong with being absolutely fucking appalled by the monetization in Diablo Immortal. I think you should be. I think it's disgusting. Um, and I think we should do everything we can to protect people against it, against like stuff like that. Like fucking gambling is what it is. It's fucking gambling. The fact that you can spend like 4K on it and not get like a, a legendary gem, which is what you're trying to get, is absolutely fucking disgusting. Only monetization that is not even acceptable in my eyes, but the only monetization that should even be allowed in video games is straight up buying shit off a shelf. There should be no fucking unknowns in buying stuff from a video game. It can only be off the shelf stuff, as in I choose that, and this is how much it costs me, I've paid it, so I get it. There can be no variables. There can be no percentage chances. There can be no, and I still don't like that, by the way, don't get me wrong, but like anything else isn't even an in-game purchase. It is straight up gambling. And I count Overwatch loot boxes as straight up gambling. They can fuck right off. I mean, loot boxes are fine in game where you don't pay for them. They're fun. They're a fun game mechanic. When you pay for them, fuck off, that's gambling get out of my game and that you know i don't like microtransactions in general i'm generally opposed to them even when it is off the shelf stuff but that shit is straight up gambling and it's not okay and honestly we have laws to protect people from that shit for a fucking reason uh what about hearthstone which is meant to uh simulate an mtg like experience yeah i don't think card packs are okay i'm really sorry i don't think they're okay it's one thing to have like football stickers where you don't need them to play a game and some aren't like more valuable than others. Like with football stickers, some might be more valuable to you than others simply because they're of a team that you like as opposed to one which is a team that you don't like or it might be a player that you don't have. And that's that's one thing. But then having them be part of a game, you're buying card backs specifically because you want the good thing and not the thing that everyone accepts is bullshit. I don't think that's okay. And, and like there's nothing surprising about Diablo. There's nothing surprising about the fact that it's a really good game and there's nothing surprising about the fact that it's incredibly uh, like scummy and predatory and in many ways dangerous in its money Monetization. It's not surprising, but it doesn't make it any better. Overwatch loot boxes is more like football stickers, no? Mm, no, I don't think I, I don't think so. Because no one is buying an Overwatch loot box because they want a fucking spray, are they? I feel like if there are things that people can agree are objectively more desirable. Uh, Overwatch does have pretty good dupe protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I hear you. Absolutely. But I mean, there's also like time limited things where, you know, you need to buy your loot box in the next two weeks. Otherwise, you won't get your Olympic skin or something like that. And of course, everyone's buying them in that frame to get the Olympic skin. But if you like, you might not get the Olympic skin, right? Just let people buy shit off the shelf. Easy. It's not as bad as like other stuff, but it's still very bad. Okay, that's what I'm saying. And yeah, I think it's right that it's banned in certain countries. And I think regulation is good, actually. I know people don't agree with me on my social takes sometimes, but I think regulation is a good thing. I think it's regulation that stops people putting glass in our fucking food or sand in our fucking food because they fucking would, you know? It's regulation that stops people making buildings out of fucking plasterboard, right? Because they fucking would. It's regulation that means that things have to be safe because they fucking wouldn't be otherwise. It's like regulation that protects people from predatory gambling practices because they sure as fuck wouldn't otherwise. Uh, and I think gambling is absolutely something that you should regulate. Regulation doesn't work. I'm really sorry, but the fact that you don't have to work 24 hour fucking days with like maybe one day off a year is proof that regulation does in fact work. The fact that there's no lead in petrol anymore is proof that regulation does in fact work. Oh, are you talking about guns? <laughs> Sorry, like guns is a, a, an even better example than anything I've brought up uh, before that. Yeah, I absolutely believe in the right to bear arms. I believe that citizens should be able to defend themselves against tyrannical governments. Of course, 
Of course I do. I absolutely believe in a, a, a citizen's right to get guns. But you know, I can do that. I can do that in this, like if I wanted to go get a gun right now, I could do that. It wouldn't be very hard. We still don't have like loads of school shootings and, and people shooting up each other up in the street and stuff like that. Because we've got tight regulations. I can still get it. Like, we have tight regulations on driving. No one thinks that you can't drive in this country. Lol, you blame the car for the drunk driver taking out a family of four too, don't you? I, I would if there were no driving tests. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would. If people were driving around in cars and you didn't have to be insured and you didn't have to pay road tax and you didn't have to uh, pass a test to get a license to be allowed to drive and loads of people were getting run over by bad drivers, I would say, yeah, we should regulate cars. I'd say, yeah, I feel like there's some more regulation that should go on with cars here. Yeah, I feel like maybe there should be a test to see if you're a good driver before you're allowed to drive a car. You know, I feel like maybe there should be some kind of theory test you have to take before you're allowed to drive a car. Yeah, if none of those regulations were in place and loads of people were getting run over by fucking cars all the time, I'd say maybe we should regulate shit. What's your stance on cannabis? I feel like the science would suggest it's no more dangerous than like a lot of drugs that are legal. And yeah, I think it should absolutely be legalized or at the very least decriminalized. There's a big difference between legalization and decriminalization. And at the very least, I mean, cannabis is pretty much decriminalized anyway, to all intents and purposes, for white people at least. And I think that, yeah, at the very least, we should be, de I think we should be decriminalizing all drugs, to be perfectly honest with you, because I think that's the only, that the best way to protect addicts and, and victims. I know that, again, that'll be a thing that a lot of people disagree with. He forgot to sign the social contract. Oh shit, that reminds me, this is a WoW stream. <laughs>